everybody. Uh, today we're flying uh, from Shimkent to Almaty on Erastana. Um, it's the second time I've done this flight on Erastana, but I'm expecting today's uh, aircraft to be an Airbus A320, which I haven't done on this particular route. Um, this is part one, or leg one, of three. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where else I'm flying to. You'll have to wait for next week for the next video for that. So, um, come and have a look at Shimken Airport. Okay, so this was an interesting one. I was wrong. We were not flying on an Airbus A320. It turned out we had a Boeing 757-200 lined up. So this was a complete shock to me. I had no idea about this until I saw the plane. And I'm not even sure if I'd ever even flown on a Boeing 757-200 before this flight. Um, if I had, then it would have been a while ago before I had any interest in planes at all. Uh, but yeah, it may have been my very first flight on a Boeing 757. So. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I film Shimkent Airport quite a lot. Um, it's a small airport, very convenient, very little walking involved at all. You just quickly check in and you end up here in the lounge, the waiting area. So I have um, done this flight before on my channel, the Shimkent to Almaty route on Air Astana, but that was on an Embraer 190, so a much smaller plane than a Boeing 757. Um, so a bit of variety there. So this is where we, you go onto the bus. You always have to get on a bus at Shimken Airport. It's a bendy bus, an old German bus, and that will take us the short distance to the plane, where we then board the, the plane via the steps, get a nice view of the plane, which you'll see very shortly. And there she is. So unlike um, an Airbus A320, you get on the plane here kind of more in the middle. So we're first class or business class in the left hand side once you're on and standard class on the right hand side. We've got screens. Um, for this one hour journey, one hour flight, which was nice. Now we got to watch this um, safety video three times. That's because Erastana uh, do their videos in Kazakh, Russian, and English. I was sick of it by the third time. So we're just about to take off, so it gives me an opportunity to speak. Um, there was actually a woman sitting in my seat, the window seat. Um, you see these seats I'd already uh, chosen uh, when, I, when I did my online booking, what do you call it, online check-in. And I specifically chose a window seat so that I could film. But like I say, it was, a, it was a woman sitting in my seat, she was pregnant as well, but I told her to move. <laughs> you know, I said, this is my seat, you sit in your seat please. Um, she started crying for some reason, I don't know why. 
um, but she moved eventually. But do I feel guilty? No, because you shouldn't sit in other people's seats. You should sit in the seat that you're given. If you disagree with me, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be interested to hear your views. So yeah, this is a night flight. Uh, we left, I believe, at, I think it was, yeah, 21.50. Um, with a scheduled arrival time of 23.05 in Almaty. This is the um, in-flight magazine from Erastana. This is where they fly, so it's not very clear. Fly all over the place. So yeah, I decided to watch Peaky Blinders. I'd heard about it, that it's some kind of English, kind of Cockney kind of thing, some sort of TV series, but I had no idea what it was. Started watching it, I think after about two minutes I switched it off. I just realised it was not my cup of tea. Anything with guns or violence, or what, I think the, the bloke in prison or something, no, not interested. Not interested one bit. But it was nice to be able to have the entertainment system, um, even for a very short flight like, like this. I mean, Air Astana is a very high quality airline. I'd highly recommend them. Easily the best airline in this part of the world. So yeah, Peaky Blinders. I watched it for a couple of minutes, as I said switched it off and then I moved on to um, some audio get tea um, water a, whole, a sandwich that I didn't want to eat because I had cheese in it don't like cheese so that was Ed Sheeran by the way um, the apricot souffle was alright, and the little biscuit cracker thing was alright. I move on to pink. I do like it, to listen to a bit of pink from time to time. And these are the planes, the fleet. So that's the plane I'm on. That's their biggest plane, the 767. And then we have the Airbus A321neo. Airbus A321, uh, Airbus A320 Neo, and then their small planes, the Embraer 190, and another 190E2, whatever that is, and Airbus A320, which is what I was expecting to get on this flight. That was what it, it was supposed to be. So we're now approaching Almaty International Airport. At around 11 o'clock at, uh, at night after a nice flight where I wasn't very bored because I had some music to listen to thanks to the entertainment system on board the plane flight, we left on time, we arrived on time, you can't ask for more than that, and I got a nice surprise, I got to fly on a Boeing 757, unexpectedly, so what's there not to like? move on to Bruce Springsteen by this time. 
I was just kind of like picking songs here and there. I wasn't listening to the to full albums. Because the flight was so short, I thought I'd just, you know, pick and choose the songs that I like rather than listen to the whole albums. So, as we land here at Almaty, you will now see um, a few planes. So there's the applause, which is very common in the former Soviet Union. People clap when a plane successfully lands, which I like, it's a nice touch. Sometimes I clap as well. So, let's see what planes are on the ground here in Almaty can make them out that is. There's one there, don't know what that is, can't see. You can't see that one either. Maybe you can. There's Sunday Airlines, we've talked about that before, that's um, SCAT Airlines charter network of planes, so they fly to holiday hol destinations, and that plane there is it's hai Hainan Airlines, um, so I guess that's a Chinese airline, never flown on them before, in fact I've never flown on each, any Chinese airline, they've been to China. Maybe one day, maybe one day. I have flown Sunday Airlines, by the way, a number of years ago, but it was just a normal SCAT flight. But they were using a Sunday Airlines plane um, instead of a SCAT plane. But that was before I started, I created this channel. That would have been a good one to do. So yeah, I think that's enough from me. Um, I'll let the rest of this video play out where I collect my bag. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, this was only part one of three, so there are two more plane journeys to come. I'll see you around. See you next week.